Hey dolls! So, before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know that I, I think I'm starting to get sick. So, um, if I sound bad in a couple future videos, or if maybe there's a lack of a couple videos, that's why I feel it coming on. My nose is starting to get a little stuffy. So, hopefully it won't be too bad if I am getting sick, but today I am filming my what I got for my birthday or birthday haul video. I do one of these every year. You guys really like them. I'm going to put a little disclaimer in the beginning of it, just like I always do. I by no means at all whatsoever am trying to brag about what I got. I just know that my subscribers really enjoy seeing what I got for my birthday. And of course, I will be doing a Christmas version as well of everything that I get for Christmas. But for now, we're going to show everything that I got for my birthday. If you guys haven't seen my 26th birthday vlogs, I will link them right here on the screen so you guys can go watch them. There is a part one and a part two. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this. So in the vlog, in the first vlog, you may have seen some of the presents. And I'll go ahead and show these first. These are from my sister and my nieces, they kind of contributed a little bit too. You guys saw that she also got me these DIY unicorn little jello cup things. I don't have those because I did put those in the kitchen. I plan on making those. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet, but she did give me those. And it, she did kind of a little unicorn theme. So the first thing here are these adorable little unicorn socks and this unicorn sleep mask set very very cute then she also got me just this little plush unicorn again so adorable I love that she had a little theme going people joke and say that I'm a unicorn all the time because of my colored hair and my colorful personality so that the fact that she kind of did this little theme was really really cute and thoughtful then she also got me this amazing bubble uh, not bubble bath uh, bath bomb <laughs> it's so cute it literally looks like candy i am so excited to try this out then she also got me this little unicorn back massager it's just one of the little manual ones and it is so cute as well just a little a white unicorn my sister also got me this little bath and body works unicorn hand sanitizer little keychain here and i think yeah if you press its head the horn lights up and then the scent that is in here is actually you are magical cotton candy clouds and it is also a unicorn which is wonderful and then of course my card it has a little unicorn pinata on it so that is from my sister and my nieces and then my other niece actually came over a couple days after my birthday and she gave me this beautiful Essence eyeshadow palette. I'm very excited to play with this one. The colors are very cute. Let me know if you guys have this and if you guys like it down below. And then she also got me these Bare Minerals Moonbeam uh, little highlighters. And I'm so excited about these. I swatched one of these on my hand, like right after she gave it to me. And it is so beautiful. Okay, and then from my mom, she kind of kept the unicorn theme a little bit. And she got me a unicorn onesie that you guys probably also saw in the little vlog. But here's the face. And it is a beautiful, like, pastel rainbow with a super fluffy tail and mane very cute silver horn i think this is so funny because this part right here just looks like a little happy face he's like hey <laughs> i love that the little buttons themselves are just little rainbows like how cute is that so precious so that was from my mom she also got me this little kitty cat card that says you're not just a special daughter you're a beautiful amazing woman we are proud of and admire you so much and it's just got this really sparkly background with this sassy kitty on the front 
And then my mom also actually surprised me the day before my birthday with this beautiful necklace. I've gotten a lot of questions about it and it is actually from the Disney jewelry collection from JCPenney. It is a 14 karat gold and gold filled chain necklace from, like I said, the Disney collection at JCPenney. I've been wearing this every single day since I got it so it feels weird taking it off but it is just so cute. It says princess and it has a Disney crown on there. I did post a close-up photo of this on my Instagram as well so you can definitely check there but it is so dainty and so cute and I am absolutely in love with this thing so much. And it just sits so cutely. I love the length of the chain. And then last but not least, on to what my fiance got me. So he got me a few things. I told him that I wanted some classic Disney animal films. So he got me Lion King 1, 2, and 1 and a half. And then he also got me three more classics that are hands down just amazing. Melt my heart. We have Jungle Book. We have Bambi. Oh my gosh, this movie. And we also have, oh my gosh, also this movie. This is Oliver and Company. So he got me all six of these movies for my birthday, so thank you so much, babe. He has committed to actually sitting down and watching all of these with me. So far, we've only watched Lion King, but he has also seen Jungle Book, so we just have a few more to go, but I did tell him, you're watching all of this with me. I hope you know what you got yourself into. <laughs> and he actually isn't like arguing with me or anything. He, I think he secretly really does enjoy them. And then, of course, I also posted about these on my Instagram, I I had to just like show them off prior anyway, but he got me the new Club X boots from Dolls Kill, and these are the ones that have the detachable butterfly wings on them, so you can actually thread the shoelaces through the little holes right here and wear them like so, and they are just so extra and over the top and beautiful. Let me go ahead and show you guys close up this detail of these wings. I love this iridescent like vinyl right here. So pretty. And then the glitter is just gorgeous. So again, there are the two little wings that you can wear on both of the shoes. Kind of like so. Again, I did post a photo on my Instagram so you can kind of see them a little bit more detailed there. What they look like with the wings on them anyway. But I mainly honestly wanted them just for the boots because the boots are so stinking cute. I, I mean, the, the wings are great too. I, I, I'm hoping to have like an event or something to wear the wings with them. But for like daily wear, just like running to the grocery store and running errands, without the wings is a little bit more practical for my personal life. So, oh my gosh, look at this glitter. I was afraid that it wouldn't show up on camera, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. Oh my goodness, and here's the bottom. So they actually do have pretty good tread on them, which I really like. The laces, however, are like heck along. I think they're made to like wrap around the boot a couple times if you wanted to, but I usually just, how I wear my shoes is I kind of lace them up like so, and then I actually wear the laces inside the shoe like this, rather than outside like this. It's just a little bit more clean looking and less messy, and then that way the lace is less likely to come undone. Um, that's just how I really always wear my shoes, so if you were wondering how I lace them, I don't really lace them any differently. I just string them inward through the holes rather than outward the holes, and when you string them inward, then the lace ends up on the inside of the shoe like this, and then you can just tie it normally and then just tuck it into your sock or whatever when you are wearing them. I also love that they have a zipper on the inside so that you don't have to undo the laces and everything, but these are amazing. Again, these were from the Dolls Kill website if you wanted to get your hands on those. 
Okay, and then I do have two more things from my fiance. I did mention in my part two of my 26th birthday vlog that we went to a town called Leavenworth here in Washington. And if you guys want to know more about that and all of that, just go watch the vlog. It explains everything. But we did go into the store and I said in that vlog that... Uh, one of the stores really had a lot of meaning to me and the thing with Leavenworth is my family used to go to Wenatchee like the Wenatchee State Park or whatever and we would have our big family reunion get-togethers there every summer and we did that for quite a few years while my dad was alive well, after my dad passed away, we pretty much stopped going or they stopped doing it and we didn't really go anymore. When we went to Wenatchee, we would sometimes go it into Leavenworth because it was only about 20 minutes away and we would just kind of browse through the shops and my dad would take me shopping and he would let me pick out something and then my uncle started taking me and it was just really, really special bonding experience for me and my dad. Not the fact that like I was spoiled and I got to get a present every time I went but the fact that like it was just time that we spent together and those are the memories that I cherish you know now that he's been gone for so long um, but there was one store that I remember going into all the time and we weren't allowed to film in the store so unfortunately I couldn't show you like the layout of the store or anything like that but um it was just a regular store on the bottom and then they had a little staircase leading up to the upper level and they had this upper loft level that was just all stuffed animals. And I remember going up there and picking out my stuffed animals every year when I went and that was like my store as a child, like just the just I was in awe of all of the stuffed animals when I was little and it just like melted my heart so much and so when we went to Leavenworth on my actual birthday we were just kind of popping in and out of the shops and to be honest I didn't expect to see that store still there because I haven't gone in about 15 years I was like okay well the store's not gonna still be there the store is not gonna still be there we were popping in and out of the stores. We just got there on my birthday night and it was literally like the second or third store we went into. We went through the bottom part of it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. And I turn around and I see the staircase leading up to the stuffed animal heaven. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is the store. And then I started like internally getting very emotional. Like it was not like physical on the outside yet. And I was just like, my heart was literally melting inside, like, because my childhood was rushing back to me and times with my dad were rushing back to me. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is amazing. So I walked up the little stairs and I was looking around at the stuffed animals. Alan told me, he's like, well, you have to get one. You know, this is your store. This is like half of the reason that you were so excited to come back here to see if this store was still here. You have to get a stuffed animal and live on the tradition. And I was just like, yeah, I do, but I don't know which one I want. I don't know which one I want. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I kept looking around and I was like, oh, there's a cute little wolf. Oh, there's a cute little bunny. Oh, there's this, there's that, there's this. I'm just like, oh, they're all so cute. I don't know which one to pick. And then, I was holding like the wolf I think it was or like a husky or something I was holding one and then I turned around and I was looking at Alan and he was like messing with some stuffed animals on the top shelf that I didn't really notice before but then I looked at about my level perfectly right in front of my face was this little meerkat and I know you guys are probably saying he's not pink he why do you do want him he doesn't match your aesthetic what's going on da 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 I literally dropped whatever stuffed animals I was holding in my hand on the floor and I picked him up and I said this is him and I knew instantly that this was him because the reason I knew that this was him was because flashback to Lion King here <laughs> I have a very passionate connection to Lion King and this was the very first movie that I ever saw in theaters when it first first came out I went and saw the movie in theaters and I got obsessed with it I fell in love with it and as I was growing up as I was living my childhood my dad's nickname for me was Timon and if you guys are familiar with the movie you know that Timon is the meerkat 
I don't know why that was my name. I don't know why that kind of developed over time, but I was so obsessed with the movie and it has always been one of my top, top, top favorite, favorite, favorite Disney films of all time. And I don't know where it came from. I don't know why he started calling me that, but he always called me that. That was my dad's nickname for me. And him and only one other person, one other friend of the family, has ever called me that name. And so when I saw this in the store that my dad used to always take me in, I saw the meerkat. It reminded me of Timon. It reminded me of my dad. And I, I had to have him like it made me so cuddly and so happy and so excited and so Alan's like okay we're are, is that the one you want I'm like yeah and he's like okay we're going give me it and I'm like what do you mean he's like give me the stuffed animal I'm like what are you doing no I'm getting him he's like yeah I'm gonna pay for it it's your birthday let me pay for it and I'm just like but you don't have to and he's like but I want to you can't, you can't tell me no, like, just let me do this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so Alan actually got me the Timon meerkat. And while we were in the same store, I was actually looking kind of at the downstairs area or the main floor area. And I found these little husky pink socks and I was just going to buy these also. But as he was paying for this, he's like, what, you found socks too? And I'm like, yeah, these are really cute. And he's like, okay, throw them up there. Like, no, like, I'll pay for these. You don't have to pay for that. No, do it. You cannot say no. It's your birthday. I'm like, but my birthday shouldn't matter. You know, he's like, no, we're in your store. You want this stuff. It's your birthday. Put it on the dang counter. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm just like, all right. So he got me these adorable little striped husky socks also, which are very, very cute. So... Yes, this has a very, very, very special place in my heart. That night when we went back to our Airbnb after we had gone into Leavenworth and we were in for the night and everything back in Wenatchee, because our Airbnb was in Wenatchee, um, I just, I had a breakdown. Like, I legit just started bawling my eyes out. And this was in the other room. Like I was in the living area and this was actually in the bedroom or something or maybe it was sitting up on the shelf in the living room And I just started breaking down Like I felt the emotions running through me when we were in the store But it didn't actually fully hit me until we were in the Airbnb for whatever reason and we were actually watching the ranch on Netflix and there was a part in the episode where it was very emotional. I'm not going to give anything away just in case you guys watch it. But it was very, very emotional for me. Not so fact that something happened in the show. But the fact that, like, I lived that. And it was so emotional for me. It just brought back so many memories with my dad and everything. That I just started bawling. Like, literally uncontrollably sobbing. And, um... Alan was like, I knew this was going to happen because we're in the place where you used to be and where you used to go with your family all the time and with your dad. And I, I, I expected this to happen. So don't apologize. It's okay. I'm here. And then he just started holding me and hugging me. And it was just so, so sweet. And he stopped. And I was like, what, what are you doing? Like he, he stopped like comforting me. And he got up and he went and he grabbed this and he handed it to me. And I just cried 10 times harder because like this, oh gosh, <laughs> this means so much to me. And the fact that he did that for me and was there for me, that Alan did that and he was just comforting me and he didn't question me or anything. He just let me be and let me do my thing and was not judgmental, did not criticize me, nothing like that. That is why I am with him, okay? I get so many hate comments and so many disgusting things here and there saying, why the heck are you with that guy? He's so ugly. Why are you with this hillbilly man? Da -da 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 -da. I'm with him because he treats me so well. He does not judge me. He respects me as a human being. He's 
always been on my side with everything all of the time and he is such a big support system for me and it's not about looks it's not about financial state it's not about any of that bull crap if he can make me smile and comfort me and not judge me and support me through thick and thin then he is perfect for me it has nothing to do with anything else just how he is around me and how he makes me feel that ultimately is why you should be with someone is love and i know that sounds super cheesy and kind of cliche but at the end of the day it's what really matters the most and i don't know this this little guy he <laughs> he really means a lot to me and it really meant a lot to me that alan kind of did that and that added even more like significant meaning to getting this and going on our trip and all of that and my birthday was really really special this year so huh, enough of my blubbering <laughs> um, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i did want to mention also real quick that i did get something in my p.o box from jennifer jennifer watches my channel and i didn't originally know this was from her because it didn't come with a card or anything but she sent me this little Disney Marie Christmas version that is just so cute. I love her so much. I wanted to include her in this video just because it was a little something extra. And thank you so much, Jennifer, for being so sweet and sending that to me for my birthday in my P.O. box. But I kind of want to add end on a little bit more of a upbeat note with that little Christmas Marie. But yes, that is everything from my 26th birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And with that being said, I will go ahead and let you guys go. I gotta go take off my makeup because I'm feeling the, the crying coming on here. And um, <laughs> I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long. Well, I, I, I forgot how to do my outro. So long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Bye.